8 indices that you're actually a lazy person. Being lazy every day is not the same as having a lazy Sunday where you spend the day lounging on the couch after a demanding week. Being lazy can hinder your progress, reduce your earnings and successes, and even cause you to fail. Nobody wants to be trapped with a lazy individual at work or school. Thus, pay attention unless you've managed to get a sugar daddy or sugar mama to support and feed you. These eight indicators point to your hidden laziness. First of all, everything is put off until the last minute. You put things off till the very last minute. The willful and needless delay of a task or other obligation, especially when there will be unfavorable outcomes, is known as procrastination. This is probably most noticeable in workers and college students. It could be true that certain people perform better under duress. However, it is just not worth it to feel that needless tension and worry about whether things will be done, particularly if you have people depending on you for a group or team project. Postponing duties that only affect you is one thing, but when your tardiness affects other people's work as well, it becomes an issue. Additionally, issues like stacking dirty dishes, clothes, and unpaid bills can arise at home. While everyone procrastinates occasionally, it's a sign of laziness when, I'll do it later, becomes your go-to response. Instead than putting off what needs to be done till later and then detesting yourself for it, why not complete it now? Number 2, there are a gazillion reasons why you should not exercise. January 1st. January 1st marks the beginning of a year that will undoubtedly be yours. Myself in a new year. Am I correct? January 17th has been called, Ditch New Year's Resolution. Day. Are you aware of this? This is due to the fact that most people are said to give up on their resolutions on that day. Exercise to reduce weight or enhance general health is frequently one of those resolutions. Participating in regular physical activity has several advantages. Nevertheless, you manage to think up a gazillion excuses not to. Even while you claim to have no time for exercise, you do, in fact, have plenty of time to aimlessly browse through Instagram and TikTok. Alternatively, you may say that you're simply exhausted. All right. But truly, are you? Or are you simply being indolent? Actually, after a brief workout, you'll feel more energized than you did before. You're usually not as fatigued as you believe you are. You never quit wanting to try new things. Third, you refuse to attempt anything novel. It's likely that you have a ton of fascinating ideas for things you want to attempt in your thoughts. Yoga, woodworking, coding, and volunteer work. However, you haven't completed any of them yet. Even if you've been considering trying something new for a while, your failure to take the risk could be interpreted as a sign of lethargy. This can result from a fear of trying something new or of change. Change comes with uncertainty and a loss of control, thus initiative and trust are necessary. If you've been thinking about trying skydiving, you surely realize that there's not much of a risk. However, you may still be concerned that broadening your horizons may alter who you are. Furthermore, change necessitates progress, which lazy people find unappealing. Every time you are bored. Fourth, you're bored all the time. You have a laundry list of things to do in addition to your real laundry, but you are at a loss for what to do. There's nothing worth watching on television. Nowhere is worth going. Nothing needs to be done. It's possible that your boredom stems from laziness. Maybe no one is challenging you. Even though you might not be failing at anything, you aren't trying hard enough. At work, you're not interested. You're not improving yourself, and you don't have any hobbies. Now is the best time of all to get started. If you're in doubt, just go back to the first point. Make some plans, be they professional, personal, or something else entirely. Enumerate them. When creating goals, there's something unique about writing them down. Next, go for it. Right after this video, naturally. Number 5. You decide to consume fast food when it's possible to cook or eat better. When you have the option to cook or eat something better, you choose to eat junk food. The majority of us eat several times a day. And one of the nicest things about being human is that you have the freedom to select what you eat in addition to being able to eat. However, what you eat might reveal a lot about you. When it comes to eating, we are spoiled with choice. 
Since muffins and Fruit Loops don't require trousers or dishes, we can eat out, order takeout, have something delivered, prepare, or indulge in these healthy snacks. If you selected the final choice and you do so on a frequent basis, your eating patterns suggest that you are lazy. While indulging in junk food occasionally is okay, it does not belong in the major dietary groups and does not make up a balanced diet. Look at the food you are consuming. It reveals a great deal about you. You are, after all, what you eat. You don't brush your teeth at night or wash your face. Number 6. You don't cleanse your teeth or face at evening. Girls, that mascara you applied beneath your eyes last night is not attractive, nor is it really healthy for your skin. Nevertheless, you consistently neglect to wash your face and wear makeup to bed. Guys, we are aware that you have been guilty of skipping the toothbrushing after your nighttime snack. These two easy tasks take little time and cause no pain. They're crucial for hygiene and attractiveness as well. While it may seem convenient to avoid getting out of bed after making yourself comfortable, putting off small chores like these calls into doubt your commitment to larger endeavors. 7. You own too much stuff. You own way too much items. When it comes to spring cleaning, you might think winter would never end. You simply never seem to be able to arrive. You may be on the upcoming hoarder season since you have so much stuff everywhere. Inanimate objects that have begun to take root in your home are pushing you out of your own area. Decide what still makes you happy and get rid of the rest by channeling your inner Marie Kondo. Concentrate on all the wonderful things that are going to come into your life since getting rid of the old means making place for the new. A. You're always asking why you're this way. You're always asking why you are this way. You know it deep down. You just haven't made the necessary changes, even though they are necessary. Do you ever find yourself wondering, even in jest, why am I like this? It indicates that you're not entirely in denial because you're thinking about it. Recognition is a critical first step. To proceed, though, you still need to take those ideas into action. Laziness isn't attractive, and it won't make your life better or help you reach your goals because those things demand effort and hard work. Workshop. However, the fruits of labor are quite tasty. Get yourself in gear if your laziness is preventing you from accomplishing your goals or if you don't even have any. The world is too beautiful to squander time on indolence. How do you feel? Do you discover that more often than you'd like, you can relate to these? Tell us in the comments section below. Please like and share this video with your friends if you liked it so that we can continue to make more like it. Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos just like this one. Don't forget to watch our other videos as well. Thank you for viewing.